Okay, the last part of section 2.3 deals with the genetic code and translation. Okay, first before we get started, remember that uh, we talked about proteins are a very important molecule. And proteins are made up of monomers called amino acids. Okay, uh, basically what a protein is, is it's a long strand of uh, a bunch of amino acids linked together. And we call this a polypeptide chain. Okay. And um, what we're going to be talking here is how these polypeptide chains are made. Okay, and the first thing we need to talk about is the genetic code. And the genetic code is the language of the instructions of the mRNA. Okay, so there's a, uh, there's a language uh, that we use, and, or a code, and it's basically there's four letters that are involved in this code, and we've talked about them already, A, U, C, and G. Okay, A stands for adenine, U is uracil, C is uh, cytosine, and G is guanine. When the genetic code is read, it's met read in groups of three, and those groups of three we call a codon. So you can see here, here's a codon. It's a sequence of three nucleotides together, and this, so this first sequence is AUG, and this is what we call a start codon. Okay, and then here's the next codon, AAC, in our amino acid sequence. Each codon um, specifies in a certain amino acid that is going to be put into the polypeptide chain. Okay, and sometimes um, amino acids can be specified that by more than one codon, and we'll talk about that more in a little bit. Okay, here this uh, large circular is what we call the genetic code. Okay, and the way that it's read is you start in the middle. And remember, we read it in um, groups of three, so that we call codons. And so, for example, remember I said there's a start codon, and it is AUG. So you start in the middle, A, and then you look for the G, U, and then we're looking for the G. And so he, this tells us what our amino acid's going to be. And in this case, it's the start, the start codon is AUG, and the amino acid is methionine, which I'm just going to abbreviate MET. Okay. And you will also see along the way that there are stop codons, okay? And those are just signals to tell uh, it to stop coding for amino acids. Okay, um, remember, you should know that AUG is the start codon and that it will code for the amino acid methionine. So when the genetic code is being translated, it will not start translating until you get to the sequence AUG. And then the translation, the coding, the bringing in of amino acids will start. And the first one is going to be methionine. There's also three stop codons. And so when you reach the stop codon, the production of, you know, the bringing in of amino acids will stop. So let's talk about translation. Okay, so what exactly is translation? Okay, translation is the decoding of the mRNA strand into a polypeptide chain. So we're going to be basically what we're going to be doing is we're making a protein. Okay, it takes place in the ribosomes. Okay, and during translation, cells are going to use the information from a messenger RNA, and we're going to be making proteins. So remember we talked about before during transcription is when we make, we have a DNA template and we're going to make RNA. Okay, and in this case we're making a messenger RNA. Okay, 
this process of making DNA, of using DNA as a template to make RNA, this takes place in the nucleus. And then once our, our mRNA strand is complete, then it's going to leave the nucleus. So see, here's our nucleus, and our mRNA was made inside of it. And so now it's going to leave the nucleus, and these are just basically little nuclear pores. It's going to leave the nucleus, and it's going to go to the ribosomes. Okay, and that is where the mRNA strand is going to be translated. So once the mRNA is produced, it's going to leave the nucleus and it's going to attach to a ribosome. And then translation, as the mRNA strand is going to move through the ribosome and the ribosome is going to translate it. And as soon as it comes to a start codon, that's when the translation begins. And that's when the amino acids are going to be transferred to um, the polypeptide chain. Okay, so tRNA is going to carry the amino acids. Okay, each tRNA molecule only carries one type of amino acid. Okay, the if you remember the shape of the tRNA molecule, it's kind of like a, a clover leaf shape like this. Okay, and then it has an amino acid on the top. Okay, uh, the tRNA molecule has also these uh, nucleotide bases down here. Um, these are called an anticodon. So we have codons, which will be on the mRNA strand. Okay. And then we have anticodons, which will be on our tRNA strand. So here you can see exactly what's happening. So back here is our ribosome. So once complete, the messenger RNA is going to come along and it's going to attach to the ribosome. And then the strand is going to start moving through the ribosome. As soon as the strand detects the star codon AUG, which brings in our methionine up here, Translation, uh, translation begins. Okay, so then the mRNA strand will continue to move through and it will read it three bases at a time, so a codon at a time, and you see here's a codon UUC, this will code for phenylalanine. And so once the ribosome reads the codon, it will send a signal to the cell that says we need a tRNA molecule that is carrying a specific, like it, for example, it will carry a phenylalanine, okay? So UUC on the messenger RNA strand has the codons, and then the tRNA, which is here, has the anticodon, and here's our anticodon, which is complementary to the codon. And then it carries a specific amino acid here. Okay, The messenger RNA is what codes, uh, what tells the tRNA what amino acid to bring in. Okay, and so this process will continue and it will keep going in this direction until finally the ribosome gets to a stop code. And And you can see, as the, as the mRNA is going through, okay, the ribosome is reading it in this direction, okay, and it will continue to bring and keep attaching polypeptides. So we have this growing polypeptide chain. So you can see that the job of RNA and DNA. So DNA basically find we call that the master plan. So DNA is used to make RNA, okay? And then RNA molecules are used to build proteins, okay? So it goes DNA to RNA to proteins. Okay, so genes that we talked about before um, contain the instructions for assembling proteins. So remember, genes are located on chromosomes, and chromosomes are basically the genetic material. 
and they contain the instructions for making a protein. And proteins have a lot of functions. Um, a lot of them are enzymes, and they help to catalyze a reaction. That just means that they help uh, reactions proceed. Sometimes a, a chemical reaction won't um, move forward unless there's an enzyme involved. They also help to um, build or operate certain components in life. So, for example, uh, lactase is an enzyme that is used to break down lactose. Okay, so whenever we digest milk, we need to make some lactase enzyme to break down that milk.